stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Alright, alright, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch. Of course. Stretch is ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Yeah, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stress sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. <laughs> nigga. So I guess... I guess what we learned is, nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, hey, nigga, I know you done went all the Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Because number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. What are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging, mad-dogging asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in a turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, playa? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out the pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey! Oh, flossing ass nigga. You know, he could have been at least a little bit grateful that we gave him the... Uh, gave him, what, 50 bucks? I see. 50 bucks. Okay, that's cool. We didn't have to even give him any money if we didn't want to. But no, he's gotta be an asshole. Like, really? I saved your ass 10 million times and you just asked hey, for money. Hey, what's 
So stupid. After I'm gonna like to complete asshole, gonna turn his movie. Okay. Freaking hate how he tries to act so freaking gangster, it's annoying. You're stuck. Some money. Okay. Fuck you. What? 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 Aw, oh, oh, damn it. <sighs> Fucking every single person has to run me over. Ugh. Not as easy as it was in GTA 4, most people, when you point their gun at their car, they just get out. And they fucking run you over or just, like, drive away or something. Ugh. Couldn't they have popped them in the suburbs? What? Okay. I'm not sure what just happened, but alright. What I mean, if your friend gives you 50 bucks and just says, here, take it, after he's saved your life and you're just gonna be like, oh, this is all I get, and yeah. Come on. You made it. Good. I saved you again, Davey. Again. So what are you gonna do for me about Haynes, the rest of the FIB, the IAA, and everyone else, huh? History's written by the living, okay? We can pin most of it on Agent Sanchez. I get that story right and the agency and bureau will back off. The problem we need to deal with is Trevor. Trevor? Why? Try Merriweather, Chinese gangsters, general insanity, and so on. I can spin Steve that you're controllable, but not Trevor. Steve? He's our wounded hero right now. I gotta cozy up to him, calm him down. Just get me out. So his name's Steve. That's right. That's right. I knew it was like an average guy name. I just couldn't remember what it was. But let's buy a sexy smexy tuxedo. What do we got? We got basic tux, some other suits. Well, this is all we need, so yeah. Yeah, look, mighty fine. How'd Jimmy get down here? Okay. Hello the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where are you going with that? Woo, my dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid! Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah. You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie fizzle. Hear that, Vinewood? You hear that, Vinewood? Hey, I hear it, and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Get back down here. And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited. B to the I to the P. Jimmy. Read my necros. Entitled E. N. T. Uh, title. Cause I am. Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. The fuck is wrong with this kid? Can I disown Jimmy, him? shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? 
So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. Check it out. It's a premiere. Oh, nice. Not that many people here, though, to be honest. Thought there'd be a fuck ton more. Usually there is. Oh, thank you, Jim. Where are the girls? Uh, they're at home. You know, they'll uh, express their pride by showing up really late. Uh, of course they will. Ugh. And, uh, Those bitches. Ever, uh, thought maybe I shouldn't shoot sex scenes in a green screen kind of environment. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, the thought is uh, crossed my Laszlo. Thanks, Antonio. Laszlo. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it. Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. There you go. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Famer Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh, oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Huh? Really modern stuff. Uh, pervert. <laughs> come on. No, no, no. no. Let's go She's over here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um... Love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh, shit. Come on, shit dick. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see, I was here. Unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck. You're a dead man. Let's go, Jim. Come on. Come on, the girls might be in trouble at the house. Well, this isn't good. I knew when I saw that guy, I was like, shit. What happened? I don't know. This rich asshole is pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died, and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. He'll be. No, she kind of ran into fine. a termite and got chopped up into a million a pieces. Guy, right? He's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. Well, that's probably I'm worse. Sure it's just talk. Shit. What's that car? Oh fuck. All right, Jimmy. You keep yourself concealed. I'll go get the girls. Oh shit, this is not Daddy's good. Home, you <laughs> oh crap, he's gonna rape her. He's in there with our oh no! Get off my daughter, you son of a bitch. Wow, she actually cares for us once in a change. What do you know? Bitch. Killing my house. What the hell, really? Grenade? Come on. It's a good thing there's not destructible environments, otherwise that would have been a pain in the ass to clean up. <laughs> Neither do I. Just keep calm. Yep. What the fuck is this? Michael doesn't want to clean up either. Bitch, bitch slap you. Trace. You just stay down, sweetie. 
Uh oh. Got some guys making a sandwich in my kitchen. My sandwich! Ugh! Bullet time with the shotgun. Here he comes, there we go. And one more. There you go. Get some health. Yeah, I needed that bad. Got some other asshole outside. I think he's being all clever from hiding from me. Yeah, yeah, no more last stand bullshit like from Call of Duty. Hate that. I'm gonna bury you in this yard! That'd be interesting. That'd be a nice way to scare off the bad guys. <laughs> you invade my house? I'll bury you in my yard! And you're dead. Don't you dare park that shit on my driveway. Cause how am I gonna get out of here? Boom! Well, it's more like a man is garden than Michael's garden, but okay. <laughs> Oh, what? The last stand bullshit? Come on, dude. That's so stupid. Pfft. Hate that. Got you, dick. Uh, you all right? <laughs> no, it's not. What was that? Someone there? I'm gonna start shooting! Fuck! Yeah, you like that, don't you, huh? Take it all. <laughs> Get up <laughs> off me. Uh, I, I thought I was on that guy. Oh. So you sit on his face? It's called teabagging. I really fucked him up good, though, huh? All right, listen, I'm going to make a call. It's all going to be okay. Stay put. <laughs> Come on. Teabagged his own dad. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> I don't think Michael's the kind of guy you should teabag. They'd be kind of, you know, a little freaky. Jimmy's not the best Call of Duty player, I, he came I to can my tell. House, Lester. My house. So I asked Amanda and the kids to move out for a few days. I hate to say it, but Merriweather isn't short on excuses to come and kill you, nor does Devin Weston. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, all right. I, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Uh, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. All right. I've seen Michael pretty pissed, but... I can just tell he looks a lot more pissed than he has been in a while. Are there any soda machines around here by any chance? Uh, glowing green, red machines anywhere? Can I get a hot dog? Get some health? You okay there? Buenas. Yeah, how are you? No, we can say hi to him. That's about it. Uh, oh, here we go. Yay! Get full health for a dollar. Why not? It's deliciously infectious. Man, that sounds really inviting. Very inviting. That did the trick. Just throw that shit wherever. Who cares? That's litter. We already do a bunch of other freaking crimes that make litter look like a freaking walk in the park compared to that stuff. Michael! Did you find them? Who? The person who sent the mercenaries to our house! I'm working on it. Are we safe? You said we would be safe! He's not gonna try that again. I'm on top of this, Amanda. Trust me. Really? You're sure? I'm positive. Look, I love you, baby. I'm gonna take care of this. Well, when, uh, when they're about to be killed, I guess, uh, a paired couple gets closer than they ever have. Come on, get out of the way. 
I don't really want to run anyone over because I gotta, I'll gotta. i get the cops on me and I don't want to deal with that shit right now. It's a pain in the ass to try to get them off of me sometimes. Sometimes. Set a waypoint to the gun shop because, yeah. Gotta get some ammo real quick. Get stocked up. 